Turkish breakfast may be the single most important part of a very rich food culture. A breakfast spread, or kavalta, isn't reserved for the weekend. In fact, it's pretty easy to find it served all day in many restaurants, especially around more touristy areas. We've had a few Turkish breakfasts, but we haven't really, we're still looking for an amazing one. Right. This, this restaurant that we're about to go into, the Green Corner, which is right outside the exit of Hagia Sophia or Hagia Sophia. Looks beautiful. The restaurant looks really cool. It's had our eye for a little bit, so. It's a great location and the ambiance is definitely winning there. They're so. winning the ambiance yeah. game. <laughs> They're winning an award. So we're gonna sit down, check out their Turkish breakfast. Yeah. just received our food and while it looks delicious I think we're still on the hunt for the perfect Turkish breakfast uh, so it has the basics you know that we've had other places cheeses breads meats one egg olives uh, and vegetables so this is right up my alley but I think we want to have a full big experience so we're gonna dig in We are just leaving the Green Corner restaurant where we had a Turkish breakfast. It was good. It was good. But we're still on the search <laughs> yeah, for the looking perfect for one. We're the dream one. The nice thing about it and the thing that I love about the Turkish breakfast is that there's something for everybody and no matter what, they're always good. Right. I mean, you, you can't go too wrong with all of the basic fresh foods that you put together on a plate. So. Yeah. And I love the sharing too. But we're still looking for a lavish one. Right. <laughs> we want the full spread. Maybe on a rooftop. Luckily, our friends Suzanne and Orr heard about a restaurant that has a reputation for their elaborate Turkish breakfast. So we were off to check it out. We are in a neighborhood called Bashantashe where we are going to check out Bizlama. Bizlama is a beautiful restaurant from the outside, but they are supposed to have a spectacular Turkish breakfast. We are so excited that this might be the one. <laughs> Bravo. We have finally found the ultimate Turkish breakfast. It is an all-you-can-eat establishment and they bring out beautiful dishes one after another. Check out everything that we have on the table here. This spread is truly beautiful, but there is one thing that I heard about that I cannot wait to try. It's something that every time I see a review or watch a video about Turkish breakfast, they always talk about the honey and cream. We finally have an opportunity to try it, so I'm gonna give it a go. How is it, good? You tried it already, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so you'd say it two separate ways. Kaimak Bak. Kaimak Bak. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. The thing that I love about the cheese here is it's it has a nice saltiness to it. So this, this cream, you can definitely taste the saltiness of the cream and it balances with the sweetness of the honey. All of the honey in Turkey is ridiculously good too, so I'm going to continue to eat as much as I can of this Turkish breakfast because this is a amazing spread. Pepper, little cheese. This tomato is so good. Yeah, I videoed that too. We just finished our breakfast and it was fantastic. We met the owner, she explained the concept. It's a beautiful restaurant and experience. If you're ever in the area, definitely stop by.